my husband a new god just say that anyways <laughs> So, what is up, you guys? It's your girl, Nasha G, also known as Glam is T. And if you're new here, welcome to the family, y'all. You already subscribed, and you know how this go. I'm here with a requested video, so I'm excited because I keep asking y'all what y'all want to see, and y'all never tell me. So, this is the one time somebody told me what, well, a few people told me what they wanted to see. This is a video on how I stay organized. Like, ah, I'm so excited to do this video because I feel like I organize pretty well. I'm a mild case of OCD when it comes to things so I really was excited when somebody asked me to do this video so without further ado if you want to see how I stay organized let's get right to it okay you guys so this is a video someone asked me to do well actually three to four people I ain't gonna be over like hundreds of you guys no you know we small but mighty I'm gonna stop playing with my hair <laughs> um ask me how I stay organized because if you guys follow me on Instagram I'll put it right here. You guys always see me do like my checklist, to-do list of the day. Not every single day, but most days I try to post it. And when they ask me to do it, I'm like, okay, that's something I can share with you guys. So yeah, let's jump right into it. First things first is a planner. So this is a planner I got for Christmas from my sister Taylor. It is a giraffe planner. It is a 12 month planner. So I am not that much of a pen and paper girl i love planning in my phone which i'll talk about next um but i do like to have pen and paper i have i actually have two planners so i have this one and i have a little one that i keep in my purse which i'll show you guys one second okay so this is the other planner i was talking about this is the planner i keep you guys probably can't see it i keep in my purse my everyday purse which i take to work with me it is a 2020 and 2021 planner so this one is my planner I use for pretty much everything so I write I try to write down each month so each month I'll go in let's go to January because that's what we're in I go to January and I write down important dates and things so I have on here like J15 for my sorority sisters y'all already know Mother's Day is coming um I have my weight goals I have filming my content days so I have content days on Sundays but I have I like to write down you know what kind of content I'm shooting and different looks so these are the things I write down in my planner so this this one so this is what this looks like i write down times videos you know meals that i'm going to eat things i'm going to do calls i have to make i write down in this planner but it's kind of like my scratch plaid planner so if something's not right or if i misspell or if i you know mess up i like i don't mind scratching things out in this planner right this is that planner and it goes with me pretty much everywhere during the week so in my big planner that my sister got me this one right here this is like it's special to me because it has a giraffe on it. So, Taylor, if you're watching, thank you. Um, this is like my holy grail planner. So, I don't want to mess up. So, I don't write things in this planner that are not set in stone. So, there's not much in this planner. And it's so pretty. She, I don't know where she got it from. But it's so, so nice. Um, and I will link some pretty planners down below. But it has like the holidays. And then I like that it has a goal tracker. Uh-oh. A goal tracker. And then it also has a budget tracker. So, this planner is so bomb. Like I said, it was a gift. Um, I only like to put like things I know set in stone on here. So I have like simple things like my birthday on here because we know birthday's coming. I have my mom's birthday. Um, but I will be using this a lot more once I have more things to write. But this is step one of being organized. Get a pen and paper and jot stuff down. You know, in a planner, you can have a big one, a little one. It doesn't really matter. But I would suggest getting a planner and making sure that you, um, you know, you have that with you at all times. Now, for my girls who don't like pen and paper, like me, I've never been that fond of it. Your phone, period. I don't got a phone with me, but I'm going to have a screen recording popping up. Now, boom. My phone is my holy grail when it comes to staying on task, staying organized. Because without a phone, we all have our phone. Without my phone, I just feel like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, each month, on January 1st or the weeks, the days before a new month, I do my calendar. You know, I do my calendar because it's important. So I'll go in, let's say, let's open up January. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys. In January, there are not that many dates filled out, but I have things like J5, J15. Ooh, Jesus, J5. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. My husband, I know. God just say that. Anyways, <laughs> those are all things I make sure I keep in my calendar. And I also go through my 
um, reminder. So if I have anything important, I put a reminder on, I put it set for every single day. Cause if you're like me and you procrastinate, then you want to keep it, you know, on a reminder on a daily basis to make sure you are being reminded. Also, I wanted to go through really quickly. I am so organized to the point where I have all my saved on Instagram and category. So I'll show you guys right here too. Right here you have hair inspo, nail inspo, home inspo, baby, wedding inspo, you know, speaking of things that don't exist. I keep everything separate because for me it is a lot easier to think and to go to back to a safe picture and be like, oh yeah, if I know I want a nail design, it's in my nail faves, you know? So this is just how I organize my Instagram. Now for my everyday to-do list. So how I do my everyday is I don't wake up at 6 a.m. with a to-do list. I do my to-do list around 11 because honestly, those first couple of hours for the day, you're just waking up, getting started, you know, different things. So for me, my to-do list comes around 11 so I can sit down and really think about what it is I need to do. Usually number one on my list is always prep content. So I try to post an Instagram picture every single day. Um, if you're not following me, what are you doing? It's right here on the screen. Um, that's usually on my list. A call with Jada. Jada is my media person. She does all my intros, all my different picture, you know, content that I need. She's doing my blog. So I always have a call with Jada on my list. Then I have workout, if I have homework, if I have a video to edit. These are the things I think to, big things throughout the day that I want to make sure I get done so I write them down. Like I said, usually at 11 o'clock because your mind is now somewhat relaxed. You may have eaten breakfast, had your coffee, taken a shower. You've woken up, you know. If you try to do it at 6 a.m. to me personally, you're just going to be like, oh, okay, well, I just need to get through the day. You know, so I always do big key things that I meet. I need to check off laundry, workout, things that I know I need to remember. So I'll put them down on my to-do list. And then I usually just make it on Instagram. Everyone thinks like it's template and stuff. But no, I, I'll show you right here how I make it, I guess. Uh, it's really simple and easy. And like I said, it's what you feel is important. Your important things for the day. You don't have to micromanage like lunch. Like you know you should eat lunch, you know. But if you know you need to weigh in for that day and you may forget that, write that down. You know if you need to call the doctor write that down um so that's really how i stay organized throughout my day and like i said it's not an everyday thing because some days it's just like go to work make it through the day <laughs> those are my to-dos you know so i try to just do days where it's just like a little bit more intricate details that need to be done i'll write them down now a huge uh question i always get asked too how do i do my journaling so i like to do again phone journaling i have a venting note in my phone which i use um throughout the year and i break it down so right now before it said venting one part two three four you know and it's different months and then now i have venting q1 21 so that's my venting for this year you know just starting off with quarter one of the year so you can always vent to yourself in your phone but if you're like me you also have to have journals pen and papers okay so these are the two journals i picked up going into the new year this one says grateful uh oh simply grateful a journal for reflection uh, a journal to reflect on the good things in life. This is going to be my working journal when I find my therapist and network because it is on my to-do list and my goals list for 2021. It's just a really pretty journal I picked up from Target. If I can find it, I will link it below. Um, and it has different writing and different things on the pages. And right here it says, give someone a compliment. Just a few words that can change the rest of someone's day. Tell them they tell them they have a bright smile or a great sense of humor. What did you compliment today? Or who did you compliment today? So it may be, I may be doing this for myself. Like how did I compliment myself today? Or, you know, someone else like the book says, but this will be my working journal. Um, and I'll bring it to my first therapy session and my therapist will let me know, but hopefully, you know, it's a good one. Um, and then this journal is just a pretty, pretty journal that I picked up with a T and it is fairly smaller. I think I'm going to be using this as my everyday vending journal. So if I do feel like the phone isn't my go-to to vent i'll get a pen and paper and i'll write things down write things down as well as different goals lists you know things i'm achieving you know being kind to myself this will be my kind to myself journal because you know we have those days where it's just like you know you need to write things down not only the bad not only the things that you want to happen not the things that you're hoping to happen but the good things too so that'll be this journal and then i also have a prayer journal which i don't have on my with me right now but my prayer journal is just what it sounds like, my prayer journal. It's my working journal. It's my self-awareness journal. I pray in there. I write down different scriptures. I jot down notes for my, for my pastor on Sundays. And I found that that's good to have separate from everything else because it's just focused on my walk, my faith walk with God. Um, so manifestations with prayers, you know, if I'm feeling low, if I just need to say thank you in the book, I write that all in my prayer journal and I stay on task that way when it comes to my faith walk. 
Um, so these are the things that I use, guys. It's not that many things that I use to stay on task. Like I said, big, big, big thing is your phone. Your phone is like your safe haven because it's always on you if you don't have, like I said, pen and paper on you at the moment. Yeah. Um, if you don't have any people on you at the moment, you can always use your phone. Try to get organized. Like I said, even with your social media, you may think like, oh, it's okay that everything's sprawled out. But if you micromanage it down and niche it down to different categories, like I said, hair, nails, makeup, recipes, I have everything saved differently in my phone. Um, and then, like I said, oh, I didn't mention this. A big thing in my phone, too, is my notes. I'll put it here. My notes. My notes have everything. If I lose my notes, I'm probably lost because my notes have child my whole life my venting you know my my date questions home camp my eating my grocery list i use my notes every single day it is the best thing ever you know i just go in there and jot down different things that i need to remember and nine times out of ten i always find them at a later date and i'm just like oh, okay you know here's a scripture that you needed that day i have scriptures in my notes i have you know homework that needs to be done anything that i possibly can think of that i will not remember because i am not the human with great memory as i'm getting older boo i'm 20 something and you know your girl's memory is already be like what was i supposed to do write it down write everything down in your notes if and if you have this on you at all times write it down here too but you with the, with the pen and paper baby you actually have to remember to check the pen and paper so i always got the pen and paper and i always got my phone with me because my phone ain't, ain't it ain't never gonna be too far you feel me write it down that's the biggest advice i would give you is jot it all down start your to-do list like i said around 10 a.m 11 a.m throughout the day because your mind is already relaxed and now it's flowing um get you some journals i will link some down below um and also set reminders for yourself like and give yourself grace i always i think that's another thing with it comes with organization and staying on task give yourself grace if you have a to-do list and you don't get through all 10 things but if you got through the five Give yourself that grace to be like, okay, I'll handle it another day. Or, okay, I didn't make my mark. Let me put this at the top priorities for tomorrow's to-do list. Give yourself time to be like, okay, you're not superhuman. And I think that's one thing that I'm learning too. If I don't get through all my things, it's okay. Like, you have another day. They always be like, oh, rich is for the, I mean, sleep is for the rich, da, da, da. No, baby. Even, even, even God rest on them someday, baby. Get you your rest because if you're not well rested, nothing else is going to follow through. You know, if you're not in a healthy mental space, nothing else. You writing a thousand lists or writing things down is not going to matter, you know, in the long run. So give yourself the grace. Take the time to breathe and do what works for you. So if your phone, you know, doesn't work, try the planner. If the planner doesn't work, maybe try, you know, to set alarm reminders, you know. Those are my tips and tricks on how I stay organized. I love you guys. So, 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 so much that has not changed in the new year. If you have any questions or any tips for me to stay organized, please drop them in the comments or write me on any of my socials. They'll be on the screen. Neja G, that's the handle for everything. But yeah, we're going to be organized this year. Okay, and intentional. We intentional. So we writing things down intentionally to get them done. Okay, to manifest them, period. But I love you guys. So, so, so much. Again, I say, I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.